How do y'all feel about roller coasters? Now, a lot of you are probably on your iPhone or Android. I'm an Android guy myself, uh, but that's not what the show's about. A lot of you on your smartphone, right? And you're like, huh, roller coasters. What, the, what is this dude talking about, man? Is this clickbait? I want to learn how to make money investing in real estate. That's what we're doing. Don't worry. I just want to know how you feel about roller coasters. Personally, I hate roller coasters, but if I can make money off of roller coasters because of my real estate, I will do so. And that's what we're going to do right now. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Welcome to the show, folks. I'm James Wise. I help people like you invest in real estate. Today I'm working with a man named JJ from LA, right? And I think JJ has an issue that a lot of you from LA have. He hates roller coasters. Not just I don't I don't know how JJ feels about roller coasters. I have no idea. JJ and I have never spoken about roller coasters. I personally fucking hate roller coasters though, okay? But the the real issue JJ has is he wants to invest in real estate and he's raising funds from some other friends and family, right? Doing some friends and family rounds, raising funds to invest in real estate. But he's not doing so in L.A. because that's the problem he has. He doesn't have enough funds uh, to get highly profitable rental real estate in L.A. It's too expensive, right? So he's gone to cheaper markets, right? Cheaper markets. One of those markets is in northeast Ohio, the Cleveland area. Although we're going to be pretty far from Cleveland, so I don't know if you can technically consider it Cleveland. We'll call it the northeast Ohio area, right? My company, we operate out of northeast Ohio. We handle the whole area, right? And... We've done a lot of stuff, and we're doing a lot of stuff with you and your associates, JJ. We're helping you flip a house right now. And in addition to that, you wanted to learn more about the market, and you wanted some information on long-term multifamilies on the market. You also said you're interested in some long-term single families. And thus far, you've been very focused on a very small little area of lower-income rentals around a hospital. It's called Metro Health. A uh, very nice area. We're seeing a lot of good things happening out there. Uh, they're putting a billion bucks out there, right? But as you wanted to learn more of the Cleveland market, I felt it was my duty to expand your knowledge base, especially as you're out there uh, getting partners to invest funds, right? I need you, or I feel it is my job to help you become a Northeast Ohio real estate expert because you're pitching people investments, right? And what I thought was a better plan for you guys to get single families was to do something a little different. I, I think you could do better on a single family rental property if you get it next to a tourist attraction, right? You don't have to be in LA to get tourism, folks. You can get tourism for a bargain price. As a matter of fact, property I have for you, JJ, you and your investors, brother, less than $100,000 cash is all you guys will need, and it's on the lake near put in bay google it if you never heard of it near kelly's island google it catawba in cedar point cedar point one of the largest amusement parks in the world now i will not be well i got kids uh they're too small for roller coasters right now but they will be big enough so as much as i will hate it i guess i probably will be over there uh taking them to cedar point uh but i will not be willingly uh, patronizing your Airbnb, because I hate roller coasters, but I'm sure my wife will force me to take the kids uh, so they could ride those death traps. But that's cool. Don't worry about me. I'm here helping you buy investments. I'm not necessarily your target audience. Your target audience is all the other folks out there that love those death traps. So what I'm going to show you, JJ, is how we can operate a short-term rental right next to all that stuff, and we're going to get into exactly how to structure the deal right after this. Hey, Steve. What are you doing? Oh, nothing. Just saving money on my rental property insurance. Oh, my, Steve. Take me now. Holton Wise. Real estate investing made easy. Wow, I'm so glad I clicked that link below. 
Welcome back, folks. Here is the property. This is an incredibly nice location, right? People talk about the Cleveland market not being like a destination market for vacationers. And there is some truth to that, right? It's not Florida. It's not Miami, right? It's not L.A., okay? But people do come to Cleveland uh, to do some vacationing. We have a lot of stuff very close to the city of Cleveland, right? You have the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. You have the Cavs, the Browns, the Indians, all types of stuff, right? But we also have one of the largest amusement parks ever, which happens to be right on Lake Erie, which, of course, is one of the five Great Lakes in the United States of America. So we have one of the five biggest freshwater lakes, uh, and those big freshwater lakes, well, guess what? They got islands, right? So we have Putin Bay. Kelly's Island, Catawba, a lot of boating stuff. It's very big in the summer. And we also have Cedar Point, one of the largest amusement parks in uh, the country, okay? And this little town right there on the lake, right by Cedar Point, right? It's called Vermilion, and that's the property I got for you today. 636 Guilford Road, Vermilion, Ohio, 44089. Priced at two hundred sixty nine grand, it just popped back on the market. It says seventy days here, but it was uh, on the market, got bought up or put under contract, I should say, and then through no fault of the seller, the buyer's financing fell through. Now we have the house back on the market, and it is a quite nice little home here, right? Just like a solid, nice little suburb, right? And we don't really need to do anything uh, to the inside, okay? This is what it looks like. It's pretty good, right? It's not, like, glamorous, but it'll get the job done, right? We may or may not want to repaint everything when the current owner uh, moves out. This is like an owner-occupied neighborhood, folks. So we're getting some nice stuff here, right? This is not like a neighborhood where the prices are going to be driven by rentals, right? Most people that live in this neighborhood live in their homes, right? Very nice stuff. You got the little slate shower. Uh, so the house is in, in great condition. After this owner does move out all their stuff, maybe we want to repaint it. We'll have to address that. Uh, it's hard to tell sometimes, right? Like, when you have a nice clean house, it looks good, but then, like, you know, you move this desk, you move this bed, and you see that there's, like, a different shade uh, of color on the carpet uh, from the rest of the room to under the bed. But more or less, it looks like this owner-occupant is taking great care of the property. You got the cool little bar area, which is perfect for what we're doing, folks. We're doing Airbnb Verbo, short-term rental property investing for people that are essentially on vacation, right? Everybody that's going out to Putin Bay. Everybody that's going out to Kelly's Island. Everybody that's riding the roller coasters at Cedar Point, man. This is what they want, right? Nice little tiki bar down there, little bar, or I'm sorry, little uh, dartboard area. I mean, this is all pretty slick, right? You got the movie posters for the little home theater action. This is what your vacationers want. Very big home. Nice, huge backyard for them. Play a little cornhole. This is going to be a solid investment, right? Built, uh, very new construction, right? Built in 1987. That is incredibly new uh, for the Cleveland housing market. This is what the listing agent had to say. Welcome home to this charming and updated four-bed, two-and-a-half bath located in Vermilion. Nestled on a quiet street, this Cape Cod features a serene aesthetic finished basement and two-car garage. The kitchen features remodeled cabinets and plenty of space for entertaining many guests or just having a private dinner experience. Main floor features a well-sized primary bedroom as well as additional bedroom and a full bathroom which has gorgeous walk-in tiled shower. Upstairs features a full bath and two very well-sized bedrooms. Uh, who, who says well-sized, man? Say big. Damn. Whatever, whatever, whatever. Full sunroom with heating allows you to enjoy all seasons and comfort while enjoying the nature view. And your wraparound deck for watching sunsets and entertaining guests. Finished basement includes brand new flooring as well as full tiki bar that will impress all your guests and has additional space. The finished rec room ideal for unwinding after a long day to watch movies with family or entertain guests for the game on Sunday, baby. Go Browns! New roof in 2019, that's big. That's like a $7,000 roof. It's going to last 30 years. Energy efficient heating and cooling added in 2018, also big, right? Furnace and AC, that's like six, seven grand. Usually lasts about 
30 years. Premium sound system throughout the home. Talk about good stuff for the party, right? Am I right? Because that's what we're doing. We're providing a good quality experience, vacation experience for people, right? All appliances included. Great. Doesn't have to be coming out of your pocket. All while being minutes from Lake Erie and Charming, downtown Vermilion. All you have to do is set your furniture down and move in. You do not want to miss out on this beautiful home. Set an appointment today, right? Some other good stuff about this house and things I really dig uh, is there's no HOA in this neighborhood, right? HOAs are tough, right? Oftentimes, if you buy a property uh, with an HOA, you're dealing uh, with, with leasing restrictions, right? And typically HOAs, they don't like to see um, they don't like to see uh, rentals sometimes, long or short term, right? But a lot of times, no short term rentals. Sometimes they go so far as to even limit your ability to rent it to long term tenants, right? And as you can see, here is the property, and we are right down from friggin' Lake Erie, okay? Looks like we got just all types of goodness. Nice little park action right there. So you got Lake Erie, you got Putin Bay, you got Kelly's Island, you got Cedar Point. All that's good. So what does that mean for us? What do the numbers look like, right? Well, they have it at 269. I believe it's going to move. It's a nice, desirable area. So we got to be aggressive. We'll come in at 265. If we can't pick it up at 265 and you got to pay list, you got to pay list. It's still a solid deal. Doesn't look like we need to do any reno. Uh, like I said, though, right, after we move out the furniture and whatnot, we may need to do a little cosmetic touching it up, right? We'll see what it looks like empty, but no biggie. Just minor stuff, right? Paint carpet. No biggie. Uh, we'll budget out about 25K, right? Mostly furnishings, big screen TVs, things of that nature. If we got to do a little painting, it could probably come out of that budget. So all told, I believe we'll be into this investment for 290 It's a big old home, four bed, three bath. We'll be able to advertise the maximum guest amount on that sites like Airbnb, which is 16 So uh, we should be projecting out a 375 a night rent okay of course we're not renting it every day right so we're not getting eleven thousand six hundred twenty five dollars in rent don't get excited no after your fixed and variable expense estimates including at least a 38 percent vacancy the true cash flow on this in my opinion is going to be about 4500 right so we should be making just shy of 55k per year on this asset right all them people Riding the ferries to Putin Bay, riding the ferries to Kelly's Island, chilling on the boat in Catawba, or riding the Top Thrill Dragster or what have you. By the way, folks, I got to let you know, I freaking hate, I hate roller coasters. Like, I hate them so much, man. Like, I don't know what it is. Like, I feel like after watching Final Destination, I was just done, right? I got this fear that, like, the thing is just going to pop off, right? Like, the... The like zitted up teenage kid picking his nose, like putting you on the, the freaking roller coaster. I don't have trust in that guy to make sure my thing is locked, but that's just me. That's just me. Don't let that deter you. A whole bunch of other people love roller coasters. Like, I'm not going to stay in your Airbnb, but like a whole bunch of other people will because they love roller coasters. Anyway, back to the numbers. So, all in, 290. The only money out of your pocket should be 91 and a quarter, right? We're talking 66250 that you bring to the table in cash for the down payment, 25 for the furnishings, which you don't even have to pay for the furnishings in cash. If you want, you could pay Holton Wise via credit card with that, so you could finance that whole shebang. Lender kicks in 217 and a half if everything goes according to plan. We are projecting a 47.6% return on your money, right? 30-year terms, high-quality investment, no HOA, built in 1987, the year James Wise happens to be born, right? So this is a 34-year-old house in a real estate market that's super-duper cheap but typically has 100-year-old homes. And you're getting it for 133.70 a square foot if you pay list. But again, I think I can get you a 5K discount. This deal is going to be a gnarly one and more information on how Holton Wise will handle all of the short-term rental, property management, renovations, the whole shebang, furnishings, the listings, everything. We do it all. It's 100% passive. That's in our fact on HoltonWise.com. Let me know what you want to do. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.